Hello and welcome to another episode on how to craft eyes and today we have a clockwork eye which is a bit of pain in the ass if you ask me so let's begin before we begin video be sure to check out our host berry bite they are a very reputable and very good host and let's begin so let's start with easy items if you can call them that first one item is block of experience and you might be wondering, how do you get block of experience apart, you know, from crushing it? Well, there is a simple way. You just raid overworld dungeons and there is a big chance that they will contain nuggets of experience. Which you can get, you need only 9, but you need actually 18 because you need 2 blocks of experience. But it's not hard to get, just by exploring you will get plenty. The second easier item of this I is polished rose quartz so you need rose quartz and you might be wondering where do I find this oh well the thing is you don't you actually craft it you need eight redstone and one nether quartz and where do you get nether quartz from since you can't yet go to nether well you need to raid a lot of dungeons but eventually one nether quartz will drop from somewhere Honestly, I forgot where I got it, but it's possible, or it wouldn't be in the easy eyes. Then the next item you need is sandpaper, which you craft by sand and paper. You just combine those two in crafting bench and voila, sandpaper. And then you might be wondering, oh, how do I get polished rose quartz? You take one rose quartz and you take sandpaper, one in your offhand and you right click, hold it. And voila, you get a polished rose quartz. That's that. It's pretty simple, right? The under eye, you know how to craft it. Any of those pearls can be used, plus blaze powder creates eye of ender. Now this one is a bit more complicated, so you need 21 mechanical crafters. And you might be wondering, oh, how do I craft mechanical crafter? You need, as you can see, electron tube, brass casing and crafting table. Oh, but how do I get electron tube and brass casing? Well, brass casing is pretty easy. You get a stripped out log or any log and a brass ingot and you just right click it and voila, you got brass casing. And then how do you make electron tube? It's one polished rose quartz plus iron sheet. Now they, this is where the fun stuff begins. How do you get iron sheets? Well, by pressing them and by pressing them you need to have create a uh, create machine that presses and you make it like so not hard but if you want to explore how to do this i will link down the videos on how to use create machines same goes for brass ingot like how do you get it you get it by mixing copper ingot and zinc ingot zinc ingot you can find underground same for copper and you need basin and mechanical mixer and a blaze fire pit or blaze burner and then the mixing process will create create two brass ingots and then you just repeat the process until you have 21 mechanical crafters crafted we'll get to that why you need 21 and that is because you need to craft a crushing wheel which looks like this now you might be wondering what the hell is this that is where those 21 mechanical crafters come in hand so you craft this contraption and as you can see you place underside others all around here goes planks and here goes i think any stone like from modded uh from mod pack or from default minecraft then you need to power it up with something like a water wheel and it should start moving and if all is set correct the crafting should end up on the last lot as you can see, it's slowly going. And when it reaches the end, as it is doing now, it should just shrink and craft into the item. And there we go. 
Uh, voila. We crafted a crushing wheel. So you need two of those, so you need to repeat the action twice. Just for your information. Before we continue with this, I, again, I'm not the best with the create stuff. So I'll link down videos that might clear this up a bit more if my explanation is confusing. Because this I gave me troubles too, since again, I'm not familiar with this mod, I never used it. So let's continue. For this, I'll link down the video in the description for this sturdy sheet. So you can click on it and watch it, because honestly, this is a bit too advanced for me even though it is a simple contraption. And yeah, once that is done, you gotta start the sheet. So next on our list is Brass Hand. And I'll show you just quickly how to craft it. As you can see, you need a pressing machine to press brass ingot into brass sheet. Pressing machine functions similar as the mechanical crafter. You need the water wheel to power it and place the brass sheet under it. And it will, you know, it will create a, I mean, brass ingot and it will create a brass sheet. Yeah. And the side alloy is probably the easiest to craft. You need just andesite and two iron nuggets or zinc nuggets. And yeah, you craft andesite alloy. But to, do, to get the brass ingot, as you can see, you need a quite a process. You need copper and zinc ingot. And I think I explained this already, but I'm not sure. But as you can see, you need few items, you set this thing up. Same goes for mixer, it needs something to power it up, like a water wheel. And then it mixes the ingredients into brass ingots. And you power the blaze burner with the coal. And you create a blaze burner either by going to nether, which you can't, and hitting a blaze. Or using totem or undying and blaze powder. And of course, empty blaze burner. Same goes for precision mechanism. As you can see, I'm not the best with the crate mod, since there is a recipe sequence, which you need one, two, three recipes, and deploy cogwheel, deploy right cogwheel, and deploy iron nugget. And you need to repeat sequence five times to create a precision mechanism. Again, the videos will be linked for all of this down in the description, because I really have no idea how to craft those things. I did it in my let's play, but I did it once and to be honest, I forgot already. Since this mod is not one of my main interests. And then when you get all of those items, crafting clockwork eye is a bit different as you can see. Instead of doing it in the crafting table, you need, uh, let us just do this. So we're gonna do blocks like this. As you can see, uh, 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 what did I do? So you need two ingots here. And, oops, let me just check the recipe. Ah, right. Two blocks here. Then the brass ingots go here. The precision mechanism goes there, there, and there. And then, if all is done correctly, I think it should move it into the recipe. I was wrong. You need smaller mechanical crafter in a shape of crafting table and you place the items and the process is same as for the crushing wheel. And there we go, as you can see the items are going smooshed together and then they go split up and they go down and craft the item. In this case, our clockwork eye. Voila! It's here. And it's spinning. Bam! So yeah, that was how to craft a clockwork eye. Clockwork, clockwork eye. I'm not the best with the crate mod. So yeah. All the references to videos on how to do stuff will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't the best explanation, but I tried my best. And yeah, like, share, subscribe, do what... What, what am I talking about? Do whatever you do best and stay awesome. Bye!